Hi guys, so I was just cleaning up and this empress just popped up from the bottom of the, the deck on this side, on this end. So I just, oh, and this is the Wheel of Fortune. So let's find out what this empress and this Wheel of Fortune is because I feel like it's significant. Both are major arcana and I'm just nosy <laughs> so um let's just okay why the empress i want to know what's up with this empress why did she pop up at the okay let's take these the king of swords and the judgment okay so i feel like i feel like somebody um somebody has come to the realization that you're their person um, and not just in a love sense, but I feel like this person feels like you're fated to be with them. And the crazy thing about this is that this is a king of swords. This is somebody who doesn't believe in fate. This is somebody who doesn't believe in soulmates. This is the king of swords, okay? This is the scientist guy, okay? This person is likely to be one of those tech bro engineers who don't believe in anything they might believe in meditation well, believe in meditation you don't exactly believe in meditation but let's just say that they don't believe in soulmates and yet this person has had a wake-up call i don't know what the hell happened to them but they have realized that you're the empress oh this is this i like the i i like the um i like the direction this is going um okay so what else um okay this oh they're obsessed with you they are obsessed with you um the love is called they definitely see you as their counterpart what's at the bottom of the deck oh my god the ace of cups whoa so that was a nice short and sweet kind of message um i wonder if there's anything else we need to know about this because oh that's interesting so one ace um what's this the temperance they're taking the time though they're taking the time and they're letting this is such a weird thing to say about um a king of swords because at the same time he's okay so on one hand we have the temperance card and on the other hand, we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is, like I said, very logical person. This person does not believe in soulmates. And yet we're getting the Divine Timing card. Or they're just biding their time and just waiting for the right time to strike. I don't think this person is in a relationship with you yet. Um, they are really obsessed though. What is this? Rebel? Oh, I see. Okay, so your relationship might not be, um, it might not be accepted. So this could be an interracial relationship. This could be intercultural. Um, you, or I don't know, maybe your, um, maybe your families are homophobes. I don't know what this is, but something is unconventional about this, um, relationship and they're kind of this kind of wanted to come out healer yeah passion to serve others by repairing the body mind and spirit ability to help transform pain into healing yeah something needs to heal before you can get together advocate why do i keep okay why why do i keep getting this okay so this could be an interracial relationship intercultural relationship and this person might come from a more progressive background and you come from or vice versa or the the other might come from a traditional background and this person just has this person has such oh my god the the bottom of the deck is the knight okay the light okay this person is just the prince and the knight really yeah okay they really they have a savior complex and maybe they look down on your culture and they think that they are they exist to save you i don't know i don't know what this is but this person um 
they see you as the empress and they put you on a pedestal too because you have to realize here that we've got the empress and the king of swords so major arcana and a king so it's not like a king and a queen but an empress and a king so this person definitely puts you on a pedestal um yeah what else do we need to know judge okay so either they're judging your culture or they don't want to be judged for being with you servant delight in serving others with a free and loving heart maybe that they're, they're expected to date a certain kind of person and or marry a certain kind of person and you don't fit into that because light attribute delight in serving others with a free and loving heart so one or both of you could have just ended up in one of those marriage of conveniences kind of situations and this person is escaping from that or you're escaping from that um this person is such a romantic though they don't believe in see servant is delight in serving others with a free and loving heart so this person wants true love they don't want to be in a relationship that's transactional they don't want to be with they don't want you to be in i don't know an arranged marriage they think that you're going to end up in an arranged marriage for some reason and they think that you should be with somebody that you actually love and not be stuck in constraints of certain cultures and they're being super romantic about it and the thing is the funny thing is i don't think you would end up in a arranged marriage i think that your parents are quite progressive for your culture so i don't know where this person is getting these ideas from um so let's see what their next moves are because they're so keen on you they seem so keen on you where are my keeper cards where are my keeper cards oh my god where are my keeper cards i can't seem to locate my keeper cards um let's see where did you put my keeper cards oh my god oh my god where, where are my keeper cards <gasps> where are my keeper cards where are my keeper cards oh this is driving me nuts i need to find my keeper cards wait sorry sorry so sorry about this um what oh here are my keeper cards Ugh. i feel so stupid so here are my keeper cards mm, what's this person's next move um ooh, <laughs> ooh high honors okay they want to do the right thing um they want to adapt to your culture so they realize that they can't just barge into your life and treat you the way that they would treat somebody from their own culture so they have to come in acting come they have to come correct they know that and they have to be a good gentleman about it they know they have to be a good gentleman about it um bereavement and i think they would be really sad if you rejected them i think i i think they're so desperate to be accepted that this would be them they would feel this way emotionally if this didn't work out for some reason which good gentlemen so i don't know um i feel like in one of your cultures um one gender provides for the other and this person might come from a progressive gender where um that's not the case and they know that they have i i feel like with the chessboard here they're trying to be really strategic um they're trying to learn your customs which is interesting work occupation they might try to get to you through work um a journey okay so they might actually come and visit you so um i hope that helped um this is exciting um i hope this um i actually hope this um applies to me because this is this seems like this seems like fun so i hope that helped um thanks for watching um hello to my new subscribers and what else can we get from this okay page of coins so you might actually work with this person or not i don't know um they what is this what is this 
you might communicate through the internet and sad news. They probably heard something that disappointed them about you and a pleasant letter. So you can expect a pleasant letter from this person very soon. And yay, they, okay, so it might be communication via the interwebs. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Bye.